but he doesn't have the experience of Mick Joe Arroyo. He also, Medina, has a reach advantage uh, for him. So we're just about set to get this one underway. Let's go to Enrique Laboy, our ring announcer. Here's Enrique, take it away. Live from the islands of Puerto Rico, ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros, bienvenidos, fanáticos del boxeo en vivo, desde el Coliseo, Mario Quijote Morales, en Guaynabo, Puerto Rico. Welcome, boxing fans, from the Mario Quijote Morales Coliseum, Guaynabo City. Este cartel es presentado por Pure Best Boxing, CPuertoRico.com, Tecate, cerveza con carácter, y la ciudad de Guaynabo, su honorable alcalde Héctor O'Neill, presented by Pure Best Boxing Promotions, CPuertoRico.com, Tecate, cerveza con carácter, y la ciudad de Guaynabo, su honorable alcalde Héctor O'Neill. Damas y caballeros, esta pelea está pactada para seis asaltos. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for six rounds. The judges are, los jueces son, Eliud Rosa, Luis Antonio Gómez y el profesor Hernando Stero. Your referee, el árbitro, lo es Roberto Ramírez Hijo. Introducing first in the blue corner, wearing black and white trunks and weighing 120.5 Pounds. Presentando en la esquina azul con trusa negra y blanca con un peso de 120.5 libras. He has three wins, one loss and two KOs con tres victorias, una derrota y dos ganadas por knockout. From Villa Lobos, Aguadilla, Puerto Rico, Sigfredo Wichi Medina. And his opponent in the red corner, wearing red and silver trunks and weighing 118.4 pounds. Su contrario, en esquina roja, con truza roja y plateada, con un peso de 118.4 libras. He has four wins and two wins by way of knockout. Con cuatro victorias y dos ganadas por la vía del knockout. From Fajardo, Puerto Rico, Macho Arroyo. hacia arriba. Cuando digo break es un paso para atrás sin tirar, pero siempre mantengan la mirada en el oponente. ¿Ok? Dios los bendiga. Choquen guardia. All right, so it's set to go. McJoy Arroyo, Benny, is a terrific fighter. We've seen him fight a couple of times. He's a southpaw. 120 amateur fights. He was on the 08 Puerto Rican Olympic team. He also won the bronze in the World Amateur Game, the bronze in the Central Caribbean, and and also in the Central American Games and Pan American Games. We're talking about the guy in the red trunks. He's a southpaw. He's coming off a win in July where he stopped Jason Rioro. This guy starts fast. He's got a very powerful left hook, does the southpaw. The guy in the black and white trunks is uh, Sigfredo Medina. He's three and one with two knockouts, so both of these guys have a bit of pop. He's won his last three fights after dropping his professional debut, losing a four-round decision to Ronaldo Cintron here in Puerto Rico. And McJoe Arroyo, what you're going to see out of him, this is a very patient guy. Very, very talented guy. I mean, his debut was called Making History. That's how much, you know, hope they have for this guy. Very, very solid fight. You're going to see very well schooled, fundamentally very sound, but he's very patient, Colonel. Well, the two brothers that uh, are the promoters down here from uh, the, just a great job that they do from Puerto Rico's best boxing, the Rivera brothers, Peter and Ivan. They had their eyes on these guys. They signed McJoe, and they've got a brother that you'll see a little bit later on, a three-in-one fighter named McWilliams Arroyo. So McJoe and McWilliams, this is McJoe as he tries to jab with that right hand. That's what the southpaw does. Let's see if they get the feet tied up. He McJoe, goes with that right hand down the middle too, Benny. McJoe, he fights in the heavier division. That's something that they made that decision very early for him to fight in the heavier division. That's what he's been doing. This guy's a very, very well-conditioned athlete. You can see he's got quick hands, quick feet. There's a sample of it there. 
But Sigfredo Medina from Aguadilla, that's down in the territory of Ramey Air Force Base, he can fight too. And Anthony, Anthony Otero is the guy that trains McJoe Roji. He's been with him for quite some time through the amateurs and now into the professionals. So very confident being with him. And, you know, again, they got a great, great deal of hope for this guy. Great potential. I tell you, the Rivera brothers not only signing him, but the promotions they're doing. I mean, look at this place. It's jam-packed. It's perfect for the world title fight that's coming up later on. But this fight actually is not the first fight of the evening. This is about the 10th fight of the evening. The crowd's been buzzing all night. And it's hot in here. It's warm. Well, it's a great night of boxing. It's a great venue for boxing, too. There's not a bad seat in the place. Not a single pole in the way. This is built for a basketball venue, so it's an excellent seating for everybody here in boxing. Round one with 47 seconds to go. You see not a lot of action, but certainly McJoe Arroyo is doing more of the scoring. Everybody who's anybody is here tonight. Tito Trinidad. Juan Manuel Lopez, Wilfredo Gomez, Carlos Ortiz. You get to see some of these people. The mayor, Hector O'Neill, my Irish uh, buddy from Guayanabo City. Now you'll see all of these people. Also, I see across the way, Jackie Richardson, and, and there he is, uh, Alex Ramos from the Retired Boxing Foundation. What a job he does. There's a guy that should be in the Hall of Fame. Absolutely, especially for what all he does for these fighters who give everything they have out here in the ring. Can't help themselves. Alex Ramos, the Bronx Bomber. You know, he had 200 amateur fights, and he had 189 knockouts. Wow. What a career record. Yeah. There's the bell ending round number one, McJoe Arroyo and Sigfredo Medina. Trainer right there, Otero, who's been with him for a long time, Anthony Otero. See, Fred Medina here in this particular corner here. And again, the people here absolutely love the Arroyo twins. McJoe Medina, you got Orlando Gonzalez in the corner shouting out the instruction. Throw that, throw the, the hook above his jab. You know, Benny, we praised uh, Bob Barham and Top Rank for the fight that they were put together and the fact that Margarito got licensed in Texas. We look forward to that. But you and I did a fight not so long ago, and Kathy Duva was the promoter for it for a top notch show in Newark last week where Adamac was sensational. Davey Bontempo, you and I enjoyed that one. All right, this is round number two. It's scheduled for six rounds. McJoe Arroyo. 4-0, undefeated with the two knockouts, is a good boxer. But tonight he steps up in class a bit, Benny, because Medina is not exactly a walkover. Absolutely look the, not. Look at the conditioning of Medina's body. He's been in the gym. Man, you can get some stains out of that washboard stomach. Uh, he, you know he hasn't been drinking the Tecates, but he will after this. He's got the Tecate stomach, though, doesn't he? <laughs> yes, he got he the six-pack. And you know, this corner, Orlando Gonzalez telling him what he's got to do is throw that hook over the jab, the right jab of the lefty McJaw Royal. Arroyo doing everything right now, though, Benny. He goes downstairs. That's what the southpaw does. We usually come back upstairs and down below. Nice movement side to side. Yeah. See him shift. And that's what I love. Side to side movement. Don't go back. You just become a liability there. This guy's got great, great foot movement. If we can get some of the right there, some of the action right there from the feet. You can see the flexion in those legs, and you see how quickly he moves from side to side. And, Benny, you mentioned the feet. Great shot by our director, uh, Rick Sierra because this shows that this guy technically driving off the back foot. He doesn't jab off the front foot. This is a Larry Holmes type jab where it's a punch. Watch him, see him drive. Great shot by Rick Sierra and the entire technical crew. This is good stuff, I like it guys. And again, check out the calf muscle because the calf muscle will show you when he exerts that force towards his opponent. We're talking about Major Arroyo in the red. Also, Medina, also excellent footwork. And again, with the right, again, the lefty against the right, the importance of going ahead and keeping that right foot outside. Minute nine seconds ago, and it's just better boxing for McJoe Arroyo. He's landing more, but you can see Medina wants to load up a shot. He's setting it up, and I'll tell you this, McJoe better not let this guy linger into the kill zone and cut loose because that's what he's doing. He's interested in landing the powerful right hand. See, he doesn't care. Right now he's on defense. He pulls straight back. You notice McJoy Arroyo, folks, 
He never pulls straight back. He's side to side. Benny, you pointed that out, how important it is for a fight defensively. And, and Medina and doesn't do that. And especially in a ring that's 24 by 24, you got a lot of area by which to go ahead and be free of foot and get off the one side or the other, not be staying right there in front of your opponent. Medina, who's got two knockouts in his three wins, I mean, he wants to knock this guy out, but so far you can't hit what you can't see. Now, look at this. He's turning up a notch. He's either fighting down, nobody's shaking. McJoe Arroyo kind of giving him a bit of a boxing lesson, but he still better be cautious because this guy named Medina can pop. And speaking of Medina, our old friend Manuel uh, won the world title about what, seven or eight times? Oh, five how's he time doing? world champion. Mentegas, how's he doing? You He's doing better? awesome. All five of his losses were to his wife, though. <laughs> I heard he left her. That's a good thing for him. All right, there's round number 